Hey guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. Today we're running the CNC milling machine. I've got a working partner with me today, so I'm going to bring her in here in just a minute and show you guys what we're doing today here in the shop. Hello guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles. And today we're in the shop and we're doing some machining on the breech plug. And while the machine's running back here, I'm going to show you what we've got and what we're doing. Now this here's my helper. She's running all these plugs today for me so that I can work on some other stuff. And um, she'll get all these done for me today. But what we're going to do, is we're going to take this plug right here that's been ran through the lathe. All the machine work in the lathe has been done. The pocket's been bored. And it's ready now to be machined in the milling machine. And we're going to put a hex across the top. We're going to do a little countersink. We're going to drill and tap so that we can put in this direct ignition module and it will screw in here when we get done. And what this plug is, it's going to be a replacement plug for the Savage plugs that have been installed in all these brake action guns and bolt action guns over the years so that people have a choice if they want to replace that, they've got this plug that they can replace it with and it's going to be offered with the direct ignition and also my module ignition so you guys stay tuned and I'll show you all those when they're finished and I'll take you in and show you this machine running okay guys, I got that first section done the first two plugs are done and she's going to just change those out made some aluminum soft jaws to put those plugs in and they just drop down into that soft jaw and you can see that I've got three different holes in there that's for three different breech plugs so I don't have to keep making jaws over and over again I can keep using those so now she's put them in and just close the door hit the button That's putting the hex on the plug. That's a half inch hex, so a socket. You can use a half inch socket to take that in and out of your gun. Now that that is done, it's gonna switch out the tool. That's a chamfering tool. We're gonna to come in and chamfer the corners so there's no real sharp edges on it. Back up to the tool change. Going to put in a little center drill. That's going to come down, pick up the center of that plug. Change that tool out. That's an eye drill, 272 diameter. That's the proper size to drill and tap a 5 16 24 hole. This is a little countersink. Just going to go in and knock off that burr around the edge from the drill. Allow a good easy start for the tap. And then here comes the tap. Going to go in there.
The tap is the last operation, so when that's done, it's going to come up out of there and come back to the home position so that we can change out some more parts. Okay guys, here's the finished product that just come out of the machine. We're running two of these at a time, so we can run through these pretty quick. I could have put two vices in the machine and ran four at a time, but I just, for the setup, it didn't take that much time to just run them two at a time. We've got our thread in here, and what we're gonna do is check with the bolt, and that module, that screw-in module, should screw all the way in. So that's just a bolt that we make the modules out of. And these are completely done now, other than the heat treating cycle. And I'll probably do that sometime next week. So till the next time guys, thumbs up on the videos and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you later.